Welcome to History at War, where we dive into the thrilling stories of warfare and explore the remarkable individuals who shaped history. In today's video, we uncover the secrets behind the deadly effectiveness of Soviet snipers during World War II. When it came to the art of sniping, the Soviet Union produced some of the most lethal and feared marksmen of the war. Their unmatched skill on the battlefield can be seen in many battles, mainly the Battle of Stalingrad, Soviet snipers reaped absolute havoc upon the Germans within Stalingrad. One German soldier stated, In the hellish battleground of Stalingrad, we faced a formidable adversary in the form of Soviet snipers. Their expertise and marksmanship were truly terrifying. It seemed as though they possessed an uncanny ability to blend seamlessly into the ruins and strike with deadly precision. They reigned absolute hell for us when we advanced anywhere within the city. One of the most notorious Soviet snipers of Stalingrad was Vasily Zaitsev, a renowned Soviet sniper during World War II, known for his skill and bravery at the Battle of Stalingrad. Born on March 23, 1915, in Yeleninskoye, Russia, he volunteered for military service when Germany invaded the Soviet Union in 1941. Zaitsev played a crucial role in defending Stalingrad, showcasing remarkable marksmanship and tactical skills. His famous duel with German sniper Major Erwin Koenig became the subject of the film Enemy at the Gates. Further enhancing his reputation as a skilled sniper, it is confirmed he has 225 enemy soldiers confirmed killed within Stalingrad, but some believe his numbers are higher. Zaitsev defeated his enemies with a simple three-line rifle, M1891, Mosin Nagant. He went through the whole war with this rifle, only his optical sight changed. The first and most simple one was a PU sight with a four-power telescope. Now this rifle remains in a Stalingrad battle museum. Snipers played a crucial role in World War II, comparable to tanks, airplanes, and artillery. They operated stealthily, patiently waiting for their targets and striking with lethal accuracy. Soviet snipers gained prominence during the defensive phase of the war from 1941 to 1943, notably during the Battle of Stalingrad. However, as the Soviets began advancing rapidly, German snipers gained the upper hand. Whether in the ruins of Stalingrad or on the steppe, the Soviets trained new snipers in the skills of concealment and precise shooting. At the peak of the war, the Red Army produced 220 skilled snipers. Another profound sniper was Rosa Shanina, a Soviet sniper in World War II, who demonstrated exceptional marksmanship and courage. Joining the military in 1943, she fought on the Eastern Front, mainly Leningrad and Narva, with the 184th Rifle Division. Shanina excelled with her preferred Mosin Nagin sniper rifle, employing camouflage and patience to strike German soldiers with deadly precision. Her confirmed kill count stands at 59, although it's believed to be higher. Tragically, she was fatally wounded on January 28, 1945, while protecting a wounded officer. Shanina posthumously received the Order of Glory and the title of heroine of the Soviet Union, becoming an enduring symbol of female heroism in the war. Mikhail Surkov, the deadliest Soviet sniper of World War II, amassed an impressive tally of 702 enemy kills, operating in eastern Ukraine and the North Caucasus during the summer and autumn battles of 1942. Mikhail wreaked absolute havoc upon the Germans. He made many of them anxious during battle. This Siberian marksman averaged a staggering 160 eliminations per month, targeting both soldiers and officers of the invading forces. Surkov's lethal skills extended beyond long-range engagements. On November 30, 1942, during a battle near the Ossetian village of Ardon, he fearlessly infiltrated an enemy bunker, swiftly dispatching its three-man crew using a dagger. Despite his extraordinary achievements, Junior Lieutenant Surkov's military service was cut short due to injuries sustained on that fateful day. Unfortunately, he never received the highest accolade, the title of Hero of the Soviet Union. The exact reasons for this omission remain unknown, although it is often speculated that his strong-willed nature and blunt manner of speaking clashed with his superiors' expectations. Another profound sniper was Vladimir Salbiev. He acquired his combat experience through arduous battles, defending Leningrad and Stalingrad and Ukraine, and enduring three injuries and four instances of shell shock. Remarkably, he carried the shrapnel lodged in his head from the March 1943 Kharkiv incident until his final days. Salbiev stood out as the most skilled sharpshooter in the first Ukrainian front and ranked among the finest in the entire Red Army. 
he claimed the lives of 601 enemy soldiers and officers, while also training numerous elite sniper units. Despite his exceptional achievements, Salbiev, much like Surkov, remained deprived of the coveted title of Hero of the Soviet Union, for reasons unknown. Instead, he received over 20 other awards, and at the 11th hour, was honored with a second order of the Red Banner. Finally, Vasily Kvachantiradze, renowned for his extraordinary kill count of 534 enemy soldiers and officers, possessed an unmatched ability to predict the enemy's behavior, earning him the reputation as the best in this regard. Kvachantiradze showcased his exceptional skills both as a lone sniper and in tandem with another celebrated Soviet sharpshooter, Kuzma Smolensky, who had an impressive tally of 414 kills. On one occasion, the duo was discovered deep within enemy territory. Undeterred, they engaged in a fierce firefight, eliminating two enemy gun crews and over 30 German soldiers before successfully escaping back to their own lines. Despite his remarkable accomplishments, Kvachantaradze was initially overlooked for the prestigious Hero of the Soviet Union title. On July 9, 1943, he received a nomination for the highest honor from the command of the 43rd Army. However, it was only later, on March 24, 1945, that he finally received the well-deserved title, after initially being awarded the Order of Lenin by the command of the Kalinin Front. But why were so many Soviet snipers so effective from 1941 to the end of 1942, and even later? Soviet snipers were no ordinary sharpshooters. They underwent rigorous training programs that honed their marksmanship, camouflage, concealment, and tactical awareness. This intense training developed their exceptional shooting skills and the ability to operate covertly in various terrains. But that's not all. The Soviet Union boasted a remarkable number of trained snipers during World War II. This massive force allowed for the widespread deployment of snipers across the front lines, significantly increasing their chances of encountering and eliminating enemy targets. Strategic deployment was key. Soviet snipers were carefully positioned to disrupt enemy movements suppress enemy snipers, target high-value officers, and strike fear into the hearts of the enemy troops. Their precision and ability to neutralize key targets made them a truly formidable force. Flexibility was the name of the game for Soviet snipers. They showcased remarkable adaptability by employing various tactics to suit each unique situation. From long-range sniping to well-planned ambushes, counter-sniping, and even intense close-quarters combat, these snipers proved their versatility on the battlefield. Of course, having the right tools is essential for any sniper. Soviet snipers were equipped with reliable and accurate rifles, such as the Mosin Nagant and SVT-40. These top-notch firearms, combined with effective optics, allowed for precise shooting at different distances. But it wasn't just their skills and equipment that made Soviet snipers so deadly. Their unwavering determination and deep sense of patriotism fueled their every shot. These brave men were driven by the desire to defend their homeland from the invading German forces, protecting their country and comrades at all costs. And that's a wrap on our exploration of why Soviet snipers were so deadly during World War II. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the brave soldiers who carried out their duty with unmatched skill and precision. Here at History at War, we believe it's essential to shine a spotlight on the men on the ground. Of all sides, German, Russian, American, you name it. The soldiers just commit to their duty. We shall never forget the men that did what they could for their people. The unsung heroes of all sides. See you guys soon.